Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. I have a brand new 3D printer to unbox and I am super excited for it. So in this giant packaging is the DaVinci 1.0 Pro by XYZ Printing. It is a their top of the line model and it just arrived and I am ready to break this thing open and see what all comes with it. Now of course I'm going to do extensive testing with it and uh, you'll see tons of videos um, showcasing this brand new printer. Uh, but first I thought that I would bring you guys along for the adventure of unboxing it because I haven't really done this before. So come join me and uh, we'll have a good time. So first things first for these giant straps. Now this is a huge package. It weighs about 60 pounds and as you can see it takes up pretty much my entire uh, little workspace here. So this is a lot bigger than I anticipated, but we can still work with it. So we'll go and cut this thing open. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you may have noticed that a few months ago I reviewed the uh, Da Vinci Jr. from XYZ Printing. Um, and I was, I was pretty rough on that because they followed uh, kind of like the 2D printer markets where the printers are really cheap but the the filament and the ink is proprietary and really expensive and the same went with their uh, the Da Vinci Junior where you had to use their 3D printing filament which is terrible a because I already have a 3D printer with tons of like third-party filaments uh, so I couldn't use any of that on their other printer. But with the XYZ Pro, this thing can use third-party filaments. Uh, there are no filament restrictions, so I am super excited for that. Um, but first, we have a uh, top sheet with a bunch of accessories. So we see here it's the instruction manual, the kind of CD. They also have a, uh, a paint scraper um, for getting prints off of the print bed. So that's awesome. And then they also have some other accessories over here. We have the, uh, the power cable. We have some brushes um, to get printers off. We have, I'm assuming these are kind of like side panels for the printer. Uh, so just a bunch of accessories. That's super cool. I like the way that that is. So we'll set all of this over here for the moment. And then what else do we have? We have a bunch of styrofoam. Let me just get this over here. So yeah, this thing can accept third party filament, which means it's much more user friendly and you can use some actual good quality filament with this printer. Um, this printer also is Wi-Fi connected, so you can just connect it up to your home network and send print jobs to and from this printer. Um, so I'm excited to see how that will turn out. Uh, I think this would be next. What is in here? Oh, we have a roll of filaments, looks to be ABS. So that's cool, we'll see how their filament is. And a cartridge. So if you're using their filament, it comes in these kind of cartridges and you can just plug it in and it takes care of uh, setting up all of the print temperatures and those kind of things. Um, but you can use your own filaments if you want to. So we'll have to see how their filaments, their cartridges, uh, compared to just normal filament that you can purchase anywhere else. Um, so a little bit more about this printer. This looks like this is the, the power cable there. So that's pretty standard. Um, this printer is uh, a pretty big printer internally. It is 7.8 inches cubed. So almost 8 inches cubed for the internal print area. And this thing is pretty decently packaged, but I think what I can do is lift this off. <laughs> now this is genius. Oh, I'm going to break something. I don't want to do that. There we go. So that just comes up, lifts off. Now that's really nice packaging. I'm just going to put this over here. That is really nice packaging to just be able to lift it off like that. Um, but the front is this way, so 
let's rotate this so you guys can see. So, uh, so this is the machine. It's a big printer, a lot bigger than I was actually anticipating. Um, but that should be, I'm okay with that. I don't have any problems with it being like that. Uh, what else can I do? Yes, we can take this down. I'll walk around. So here we go. This is the front of the uh, DaVinci Pro right here. It is a very nice looking printer. I will have to give them that. Uh, I like the color scheme. It's fully enclosed as you can see. Um, you know, there's a little cracks and everything. It's not 100% like airtight or anything like that. Um, but it is fully enclosed. So that should help with uh, 3D printing ABS filaments because ABS tends to warp if there's any kind of drafts. Uh, so being enclosed is a plus there. And this thing can print both um, ABS and PLA. This does have a heated print bed. So you are able to print broken pieces. Uh, you are able to print ABS filament because this does have an aluminum heat bed. I'm just going to pull off all of this packaging. We'll get this unraveled. Yeah, these look like they are the ports to the side here. They are open at the moment so you can grab and kind of lift this around. Um, so let's get this off of all of this packaging. Just lift it. Pulls these pieces off, toss them anywhere. Same with the rest, and toss that, deal with that in a little bit. Oh, this is one big printer, but we're almost there. Perfect. And there we go, that is the unbox. Nope, there's there's a little bit more to this. Uh, there's a lot of packaging on the inside, so we'll, we'll get all that. But like I said, I am super excited for this printer just because it does accept third-party filaments and you can print wirelessly and then has a heated bed so you can print with ABS, which I love to print with because it's just a great material. Um, so I'll spend a lot of time kind of playing around with this and seeing what the print quality of this machine is compared to my Maker Farm Prusa over there, which was a kit. Let's get this over here. Let's open her up and see what the inside looks like. So there's all kinds of tape holding everything together. And this back packaging pulls back and there is a lot of stuff on the inside. Let's, let's reposition the camera over here so we can see exactly what's going on there. Ooh. So there is a lot of tape holding everything together. They did a really, really good job of securing everything it looks like. So they know how to package a printer, that is for sure. There's tape holding pieces in. There's styrofoam pieces everywhere. Let's jump out a little bit and look at the, the fronts of this. We can take some of the tape off. So if you have any ideas for uh, pieces that would kind of test a printer. I haven't done too many like stress tests with different 3D printers before. So I'd be curious to see what you guys recommend for uh, principal pieces to really stress test a 3D printer. So if you have any ideas, leave those in the comments below. And I would love to see what you guys suggest. I don't want to peel off all of the cling wrap yet. 
But we open it inside. And let's get you guys a view of that inside right there. So let's lower that down. You can see there on the inside, um, it does have, like I said before, an aluminum build plate that's about 8x8. Eight eight. It's, it's 7.8 inches cube for the print area. Um, but that aluminum print, print plate should disperse heat pretty well. So I'll grab the, uh, the little infrared thermometer and we'll give that a try like I did with my Prusa way back when. And we'll see just how good of a heat spreader that aluminum build plate really is. They've done a great job with packaging. There's a lot of, a lot of packaging material here, but it is really, really well done. And I don't think it's overkill at all because there's a lot of, you know, these things are delicate and if you're shipping this internationally, then you don't want any chance of something breaking because that's just money out of your pocket if things break when you're a company like that. So I'm glad that they took the time to put all this packaging material here. Overall though, this is a gorgeous printer on the inside. Let me grab the camera. Okay, so here we go. So this is the inside. It is it is actually a pretty gorgeous machine on the inside. You can see the build plate right there. It is aluminum. It feels pretty sturdy. There's one more screw I need to remove for this. Now this is interesting. It's a little locking mechanism for the build plate. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can see the build plate here. They have, on this model, they have a uh, calibration system where they just have these thumb screws. And it's supposed to be a uh, an easy way to calibrate the printer. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, the last, when I reviewed the, uh, the junior version of this, their easy calibration wasn't actually that easy. I apologize for the change of audio. But my microphone died at this point, so I'm recording this in post because I thought it was important for you guys to see the inside of the printer. So here is the inside. Uh, it is in a Bowden extruder with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. The little uh, metal protrusion next to the nozzle is for the automated bed leveling system, which I'll show off in a future video. Uh, but as you can see, the Extruder is very well packaged. It has these plastic injection molded clips uh, kind of keeping it from moving side to side. And if you notice the way that the uh, extruder works is it has both the X and the Y axes uh, on the extruder. So the bed itself uh, just moves in the Z direction, just moves up and down, while the nozzle moves both in the X and Y axes here. And then now we're going to pull out towards the front of the printer, and you can see that it has an LCD screen uh, with some buttons to allow you to select from the on-screen prompts. And it is indeed a Bowden system. There is an extruder uh, motor on the back that feeds it through the Bowden tube to the hot end. And back here is where you would slot their filament cartridge. Uh, so you would just feed the cartridge in, it gets held down by that clip, and the filament is fed through the extruder, through the Bowden system, and then out the nozzle. So your typical Bowden setup there. So here are the accessories that came with it. We have the instruction manual and a, uh, a paint scraper to scrape off all of the 3D prints from the build area. We have the side panels here that'll go in place once I remove all the shrink wrap. Um, we have some, some brushes and pipe cleaners uh, that are very handy to have with a 3D printer. You can keep things clean. We have the USB cord to connect up the printer if you don't want to use Wi-Fi, and the power cable. So pretty standard accessory pack, but I like that they include both a paint scraper and these brushes, because you don't normally see that actually, and they're very handy tools to have. Uh, but that's the accessory package. So thank you guys for joining me while I unbox the DaVinci 1.0 Pro by XYZ Printing. Uh, it is a beautiful package. 
Um, very easy to pull out and very well packaged for shipping. Um, so I'll be surprised if there's anything broken in here because it was really well packaged. So I'll give them that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for your favorite calibration prints or kind of torture test prints, please leak them um, and leave them in the comments. I would love to print those out and then I can also print them out on my Prusa i3 just so we can have some points of comparison. But leave those in the comments um, if you have any great models like that. Otherwise, uh, if you enjoyed me rambling while I unbox this, please click that like button. It, uh, it really helps out. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because there are tons of videos about this printer, tons of videos about my other printers, and the million other projects we got going on. Uh, so click that subscribe button, get alerted to those videos, and thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, this stuff wouldn't be possible without you guys, so really, thank you guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.